Welcome, my dear J2025 students. The game is not yet over. I know the counseling is going on in full swing. Josa is over and now you want to look at other avenues and opportunities where you can get your most preferred and the best college and you know the branch. So that's why you have the CSAP. And CSAP, remember, is to fill up all the remaining seats and also some special rounds are there for some special students. I will let you know everything about it. Also remember, even if you have not participated in JOSA for some reason, you can still participate and get a seat in NIT, Triple ITs and the government funded institutes, which are GFTIs, which are basically your government colleges in your vicinity. They receive funds from the government, okay, not private colleges. So all these varieties of colleges you can get admission into and there are three special CSAMs. We'll talk all about it. This is the official CSAP website and the counseling schedule has been already released over here. It's starting right as we speak. So let's get straight to the point. And if you have not yet subscribed to the Vedantu J English channel, please do that and smash that like button to show support. And if you want more such counseling videos. So what is CSAP? It's basically a body which conducts counseling after JOSA, Central Seat Allocation Board. And all the leftover seats in NITs of all the states, triple ITs, the most premier institutes for computer science IT and GFTIs, of course. And this is also going to have special rounds for Union Territories, Northeastern students and NRA and foreign students as well. Okay, which is your super numerary rounds. So, first let's talk about this normal CSAP, which is your special rounds which are being conducted for completing and filling the vacant seats in NITs, IITs and GFTS. There might be up to three rounds depending on how many seats are remaining after every round. And obviously now that JOSA is over, this is where CSAP will do. Okay. It's completely managed by an independent body. It's a government body. Okay. So this is open for everyone. Is this clear? For whether you participated in JOSA or not participated, that's a separate thing, but it's open for everyone. Okay. Now, Having said that, there is also the next type of CSAP, which I told you over here. All right. The special CSAP. Now, this one is for NIT Durgapur, Calicut, SVNIT Surat. And eligibility is for all the candidates from Dadaranagar Haveli, Daman and Diu, Lakshadweep, Andaman, Nicobar Islands. Okay. So, that is the next type of CSAP. Again, some decent portion of students might be attempting to get the seats through the state eligibility of these territories into their closest NITs. These are the closest NITs for most of these union territories. Having said that, there is another round, another type of CSAP which is there, again for a separate category of students. This is for all the other UTs included and northeastern states included and this is for all the colleges which are approved by AICTE. That's a government body which basically gives that accreditation and which recognizes, uh, you know, an engineering college. It lays down the rules and whatever facilities should be given. So, AICT is a very important body for engineering colleges, okay? So, if there is a good college, it should be obviously AICT or root. And in all these institutes, if there are some reservations, some categories, or if there are some seats, that is being filled by NEUT round for Northeastern states and union territories. Clear? These three types of CSAPs, now automatically you know which type of CSAP you fall into. Now, what is the eligibility? There are many types of candidates. Please listen, hear, see, watch carefully. Okay? If you are new to the channel, please subscribe or else you will miss all this information. Okay? And when you like the video, what happens? YouTube understands you want more counseling videos. So, it will keep away the distraction and show you more relevant information. So, please do that. Alright. First type. Candidates who did not register only for JOSA. I doubt whether many students will be there, but there are students sometimes who are either overconfident or missed out for some reason or the other. Okay, maybe you plan to take a drop and suddenly realize I don't want to take a drop. I don't know. Okay, type 2, candidates who have participated in JOSA, but you did not get a uh, seat of your choice, maybe for some reason. Type 3, participated in JOSA and you have been allocated seats, but cancelled due to non-payment. You got a seat, but you didn't pay. Why you didn't pay? Either you didn't have money or you missed, it was carelessness or maybe you deliberately didn't pay because you didn't want the seat. 
type four candidates who have exercised the exit option these are the smart ones who are like okay i feel i might get a seat through csab not through josa so fine i let me try my luck over them but you can't be over smart here because there are chances that you might not get a seat through csab as well and then you would have lost your josa seat okay so hopefully you have made the right choice next type students who have participated who have been allocated seats in any iit but their seats have been cancelled after some verification or validity is withdrawn or they have taken admission uh, you know therein maybe because the iits again have some restriction and you know all the eligibility criteria are there so for some or the other reason something did not go through through an iit so all those students will also come over here type 6 is for those candidates who have participated in josa they have been allocated the seat in nit they have already secured admission by paying the fees and also ad, uh, everything partial admission fee and all of that but still i am trying my luck in csam everything is done payment is done everything is done but still i want a seat let me see what i will get type 7 students who participated in josa they have been allocated but they have withdrawn whatever seats they were given i didn't like what i got so i withdrew okay that is another category and last and one more category type it the seats were allocated but they got cancelled after the verification in nit so one is they got cancelled through iit some students took admission in nit but the seats got cancelled and one more type the students who participated they were allocated they have paid everything but they have been cancelled due to non payment of fees so these are the kind of students so you can see a large chunk of students will be definitely there okay now let's talk about type 6 first type 6 candidates will be participating in the csap special rounds while retaining their seats which they have paid for in case a new seat is allocated then the retained uh, seats will automatically get cancelled and they will not have any claim on the previously secured seat who is type 6 remember candidates who participated they got a seat they got the admission they have paid the fees everything has been done they are safe but still they tried their luck in csam so if you participate and you get a basically a seat through csam the previous seat will get cancelled please remember that okay so that is what is the declaration that you will be signing that is for some students now how does the process go in csap you start with the registration registration goes on on the official csap website over here okay this is the official csap website in which you will be registering all right so csap special neut or dasa this is for foreign students and supernuri for your you know uh, special union territories and those special things in some nits uh, which i just mentioned durgapur etc okay so depending on that you will choose sir i want this csab or that csab etc candidate activity important links everything has been given right over here all right fair enough that is the first thing next thing you will pay for the round enrollment then you will start filling everything online choice filling happens online and then you will go to the special round 1 special round 2 and special round 3 and then whatever seat gets allotted you will go to that respective nit remember i told you just some time back there could be up to three rounds three special rounds if required those were the three rounds in that uh, csab counseling which happens usually now these are the most important terminologies so please parents students your brother sisters everyone please pay attention there are different options that you might have to choose first is called as the freeze option freeze means you accept that offer whatever seat has been given let's say i was offered some seat but you don't want to participate in the further rounds i'm happy i got my seat i got computer science i got this civil i got whatever i'm happy so you freeze this is my seat boss this is my nit boss this is my triple i they will not be considered in any other rounds or any other upgradation got it you are happy okay float what is the meaning of float in that online process of counseling you accept the seat in that program but 
if you get some higher seat in any institute in the subsequent rounds, you will get that. That is float. That is a wise move which many students do. Sir, I wanted computer science in this NIT. Sir, I got computer science in this NIT. I wish to get this NIT. So, I will keep float as the option. Okay. If I get it, good. But if I don't, at least I will get this NIT or this branch. That is floating option. Next, slide. Candidate accepts the seat. And if an academic program of higher preference is offered within the same institute, then you will be considered for that. Sir, I want this NIT only. I don't want that NIT or I don't want that college. But I would prefer getting a higher branch. So that's when you will choose the slide option. This is also a very smart move. Okay, as long as you got your NIT. But if you don't, then maybe I'm okay with doing this. Let's see what happens. Another option, surrender. You reject the seat allotted. You wish to participate in the next round. Round one, round two, round three. I'm not happy. I reject the or basically surrender that offer. And I'm like, I want to participate in that. Please note that if you surrender, then allotment in the next round will be considered from the choices which are higher than the surrendered seat. Very important. Be careful. I filled 10 choices. Out of that, I got my seventh choice. But I'm not happy with it. I say surrender. Now my upper six choices only will be considered. You cannot say, Are, I'm not getting even the top six. Oh shit, I should have taken the previous one only. You cannot go back. Only the top ones will be considered. So choice filling is very important. The candidates who have secured the seat by paying your fees, partial fees of academic calendar and you have participated in the special round in 2025 can also exercise the surrender option. Now, what is the surrender option? In such case, the candidate will lose their seat respective of whether you have secured the seat in JOSA or CSAP special round. So, this is another possibility that you surrender completely and you are like, okay. Now, withdraw option. What is withdraw? Withdraw is basically you reject the allotted seat and do not wish to participate in any any round you have like given up i'm like okay i thought at least i will get this even the lowest seat i'm not getting where i will get these top orders so you are like okay let me try through CET or let me try some private college or let me take a drop so usually those students will do the withdraw option and once you are out of the process you will not be considered once you withdraw you are not considered for the next round please remember that but when you are in sliding or floating uh, or freezing, you are in that round. Still, you are considered in that round. Understood these terminologies? So, choose the options properly. Okay. Now, once the candidate has been allotted seats via float, slide, surrender, etc. The candidate has been allotted the best choice and nothing else is changing. Then, he must exercise the willingness of freeze in order to retain the seat. This is very important. Let's say you got the best thing as per your form filling. You got number one. Now, there is no point saying I will slide or I will float because you already got what you filled 10 colleges, 10 branches, whatever. You got the best thing. What is the point of filling float? Getting my point. There is no point of getting float because there is nothing higher in your order filling. So, you will have to select freeze. Is this clear? So, that is why the form filling is very, very important, my dear warriors. Not exercising the available willingness option in this case will be considered as rejection and the candidate will not be considered for the seat allocation. That is very, very important, guys. You will lose your admission if you don't select freeze because you have already got the best thing. If you don't, they will consider that no boss, you are rejecting that offer. Cool? Okay. Now that the terminologies and the CSAP process is clear, whatever documents are required, standard things, upload. It's not applicable for candidates whose documents have already been verified in the JOSA counseling unless they have changed their credentials, which is very high, highly unlikely. And not applicable documents will be verified only after successful payment at the admission fees. So usually most of the students 
documents would have been verified so no tension for them but if you have not for some reason you have changed some document some category certificate this that maybe you got it at the last moment then you have to upload them and get it verified what are the documents mark sheet of 10th mark sheet of 12th admit card of j means certificate of category obc ncl you have to give the uh, one which is issued on or after 1st of april by government issued online variable certificate original certificate for persons with disabilities pwd certificate they basically these are the list of documents and apart from that the original certificate for persons having less than 40 percent disability cross bank check or copy of the passbook medical certificate oci certificate for foreign candidates or pio card passport or citizenship if applicable so all these things are necessary documents some of them might not be required some of them might be required depending on whether you have that category or that particular disability or you are from foreign or not clear okay after this you upload the documents you must pay the fees for the registration either through debit upi net banking chalan whatever and uh, all the fees etc are mentioned already for general category 35000 for SCST pwd candidates it's 16000 okay so these are the two category of fees for the payment so once this is done you are considered for the counseling process through csam remember there are multiple steps in it after sixth step when you enter seventh step you will be relieved and you will be in your desired college please go to the college and complete all the formalities you have to be there personally okay right clear so any more doubts concerns questions please leave it in the uh, comments and if you want more such videos please let me know which other video you want okay thank you so much bye bye take care